the uh, expectations on your team, right, didn't really exist a year ago after your first year. Uh, and then the way you came out and played, uh, how you went about your business to ultimately get to the Big 12 championship and become Big 12 champions. What has that done for the not only for the coaching staff, but for these players in terms of confidence and expectation on a year that we're about to you know, tread into? I think it, you know, just from last year's path, it shows that um, you don't have to be an a-hole to win. You know, <laughs> that you don't have to, uh, um, you know, look at all of it a certain way just to win. I don't know if, you know, I think sometimes those things get on your phone and kind of get viral. And maybe you, when you've come up, you've been coached or been around other players that have really been about those things and so after a while it kind of becomes this is the path and so i'm i'm hopeful that um you know i think last year there was a lot of speaking kind of a certain way you know um this is it's you know football is a platform to show the world who you are as a person and you know the most important thing is the person you become as a result of all of this you know and 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 i think it was probably difficult for a lot of guys to hear. And I think this year there's a better understanding. You know, I think for, for, for some of the freshmen, the guys that are coming in, having heard it all recruiting, you know, season and then seeing the team, it might be even stronger with them. You know, I think some of the guys on the team just kind of feeling that this is my turn now, you know, I'm in the, I'm in the field of weeds and wheat and I have to build a, to, to maneuver through all of this and hold the tension of it. I think that's way, that's way where we're at. And so, like I say, these next couple of days are going to be good to kind of continue to kind of to push to become, you know, who we need to be. Where we're speaking with uh, head Baylor football coach, Dave Aranda. Um, where, where did you get your coaching philosophy from? I, I found it very interesting covering a few of your games last year, getting on those zooms with you and hearing your, the way you spoke and talked and, and now getting to know you better. Uh, it, it, it really is kind of your identity. Where, where did you, where did you find that philosophy over all the years of coaching uh, and getting to where you're at? No, I appreciate the question. I don't, I don't know. I, um, I was always, when I was growing up, I was, I, I don't, not really into to reading or books or, education i guess and that kind of included high school years and um was at a junior college in california and then started to kind of get into uh to school and it just became so much easier when you read your books and studied and did all the things and then i became a philosophy major and then started to study um religion and you know faith and reason and uh, sports psychology, it just always struck me that there is always, you know, it, it's, it's, it's interesting. I think there's some, you know, I'm always looking at like, what is the thing we're really doing when we're doing what we're doing? And it just always, I think there's, there's folks that can be very direct and very, very precise with, uh, you know, direction and commands and, and people can just kind of roll with it when they hear it. And for me, it's like, what is he really saying? Why is he saying that? What does this mean? You know, yeah. so, you have to go way deep into it. And, but I feel like when, you know, you kind of have to go down, but then when you come back up, it's, it can be way strong with connections. And this is kind of the, you know, these are the people that have come before, right? This is something that is a natural, uh, natural feeling that you're going through. This is the stage of life. This is the, you know, this is reflected in this movie, right? This is reflected in, you know, in Ryan Lee's life. This is, you know, and you, you go from, there's like an awakening where it's kind of, this is all about me. This is just, it's me versus the world. So you can get this. The other side of that is that, you know, there's a connection with everybody, man, right? And you can learn from everybody and there's there's, there's empathy for everybody from, from other, from other folks. And it's just, that's just way strong. But, it takes a while for guys to get there because they just want to fight it all, you know? And then in the process of that, when you're playing ball and you're fighting everything, you know, you're, you're kind of missing the whole point. 